Volpe came in here and he had the, you said the mutton biryani? Yeah, mutton. Ah. And he comes three, four times. No way. My friend and yes, yeah. He's too much. He yeah. loves Indian food. Yeah, he came with the friend. What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from Coral Springs, Florida. Today I'm going to be doing something I love doing. I'm going to be eating Indian food for 24 hours straight. If you guys don't know about Coral Springs, Florida, it's one of the best places in South Florida to eat Indian cuisine. We're going to three places, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and we're starting off right here at Salma's Cuisine. After this we're going to Tarka, and then after that we're going to Arun's. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? Let's go eat some delicious Indian food for breakfast. Let's go inside. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good. good. Very good, very good. Salma, right? Yeah. Salma. Everything's great. I cannot wait to eat. What are we having for breakfast today? Biryani, samosa, okay. biryani bochi roll. You some fried. Gotta give a big shout out to my boy Volpe for recommending this place. He said it's one of the best places he ate at in Coral Springs. Obviously, they mostly do takeout catering, but they have a small area here to eat. So I'm gonna sit right here and eat some samosas. Oh, look, you have the foodies. You don't have any dal puri? No, it's a pani puri, I can try. You have pani puri? Pani puri. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm the puri king. I'm the king. Okay. <laughs> this is the pani puri, and this is the chicken, chicken wraps like Bihari Boti roll. <laughs> I bring the samosas. And here we go. So some pani puri. Look at this. Love it. It's a rice puff ball. So inside we have some chickpeas, and this is um, I don't know what type of turning this is. Maybe mint. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm. Oh yeah. So these are a little more crunchy. Mmm. Nice. Not spicy. And that is, that's mint chutney, right? Yeah, it's a mint and cilantro oil. <laughs> mm. So good. In India, I eat so much of this. Yeah, I just don't stop eating pani puris. Mm -hmm. mm. Crunchy, moist, because of the chutney, and also chippies, a little mushy. Oh okay. yeah. Mmm, I'm drink this. Oh wow, it's good. There's nothing like eating this. Mmm. It's the number one street food snack in all of India. Kolkopa, puchka, and for me, so with the pani puri. Mmm, mmm. Oh, the one thing you have to eat when you go to India is Pani Puri. You can find them everywhere. Street food vendors all over India serving this, right? So, crisp rice puff ball, right? They have a million of them, and then they just keep adding chutney, sometimes they add some potato, chickpeas, onions, and then you just ask them to keep going, and then at the end, you pay them whatever you owe them, but you can eat like infinite. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. And pani, if you guys don't know, water is pani in Hindi. So puri, pani puri. Mm. Oh, amazing breakfast. Mm hmm. What's this? So we're right here. We have a roll. So what the roll is this? Wow. Let's see this. She really seal it tight. Oh, so it's almost like a kathi roll. Chicken? Bihari. Mm. And this is tandoori samosas and chicken samosas. Mm. Beef, good? Amazing. This is my friend, she helped with me, always. This is so good. Yeah, this is my friend. Your friend? And you have biryani there? There's the chicken biryani with the sauce. Chicken biryani. Tamarind with the green chili sauce. Okay. Beef samosa and chicken tikka tandoori samosa. And there's the chicken biryani with the yogurt sauce. Green chili and cilantro inside. <laughs> you brought me too much. So yeah, no, no. she brought me some beef, beef. samosas, mm -hmm. chicken tandoor samosa, 
we have this delicious chicken Bihari uh, roll. Bihari roll. roll. And then over here we have the chicken uh, biryani. And you're from Karachi, right? Karachi. Yes. She's from Karachi. Pakistan, I'm actually going to Pakistan very soon. I'm excited, I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna dive on all this. I'm gonna try yeah, this one. This is my famous samosa. This is your famous samosa? So this is the beef oh, samosa yes, yes. with, this is chili and tamarind chutney. chutney. Green chili. <laughs> Do you like pani puri? Mm. I love it. Yeah. Mm. It's Good. delicious, but it's still really hot. <laughs> we have yeah. some, some uh, what is it, some green beans inside? Yeah, yeah mm. some green, green onion and beef. Mm. Put some green onion. Oh wow. Oh, this is fire. Fire. Mmm. If you guys don't know, you know, obviously beef is not so common in India. Hindu people are the ones who don't eat it because, you know, the cow's sacred. Everybody else, it, you know, they can't eat it. In Kerala, I ate a lot. In Meghalaya, I ate a lot. Mmm. Oh. Happy samosa. So fire. Mmm. Oh yeah. I think this roll needs a little bit of this. Mm-hmm. Mm. The tamarind is sweet. Green chilies as well. Hot. Oh, spicy. Mm. Oh, it's heaven. Right here we have raita, which is like a yogurt, right? Ooh. I'm getting hot. I shouldn't be eating everything, but you gotta try it all, right? Mm. Oh wow. It reminds me of the kati roll. Minus, minus the, the egg. It's, so it's basically chicken, onions, so a green sauce in there. I'm gonna also put some raita right here. A little bit of raita. Mm hmm. So, uh, helps calm down the heat. Mm. Mmm. Oh. This roll. And this is a chicken tandoori samosa. So, in terms of like the difference, right? This one's bigger. It looks like more crispiness, more filling too. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's tasty. It's almost like a, like having like a tandoori. So it's tandoori chicken. Obviously, the smokiness to it, but it's a little like I guess the spices they're putting into it, right? Let me add some of this though. Ah, right. mmm, spring onion. Ah, oh, lots of nice onions in here. I like it. I mean, I'm from here, from South Florida. We have this huge Latin American community, and we always have empanadas. Samosa is basically the cousin of empanada. Obviously, they do it a little differently, but usually it's always fried. Sometimes it's baked, but mostly fried, and always different stuffings, right? This one's fire. I think the beef one's better, personally, but this is good. I'm not leaving anything, so I'm gonna have some more. Woo! Add some of that right there. I love food, my friend. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Mm hmm. Now, we have the chicken biryani. Huge plate. Man, look at this chicken right here. Massive chicken. Look how hot it is. Oh. So, you want to do it the real way. Woo! Do it that. We have a little bit. Oh my god. It's so hot. Yeah, I like so, the ham. Your friend comes and she eats it like that. Same like me, right? Volpe came in here and he had the. You said the mutton biryani? Yeah, mutton. Oh. And he comes three, four times with no my friend, and yes, yeah. He's too much. He yeah. loves Indian food. Yeah, he came with the friends because. So this is the way you should do it. Add yeah, some raita right there, like that. Oh, I love this. Ooh, <laughs> it's still so hot though. So you gotta break off the pieces of chicken like that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, my hands are on fire though. Oh, I make it like creamy, right? <laughs> Always different taste with the hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Thank love you. it. So good. Lots of layers. The only problem is it's still super hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. I can't. It's too hot. Look at this. Woo! Scorching. And so I think you gotta be really careful, you know, in India, Pakistan, they always give you everything super hot. Always has to be piping hot, including the chai, right? 
Chai chai all day. Chai Oh, this one. Oh, I love this. So it has like a tomato sauce yes, right here. Yes. Look at this. So you just gotta mix it. Maybe add a little more rice to cool it down a little bit. Oh yeah. Woo! Get a nice chunk, right? Like a nice ball. And you go straight in. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for the food in Pakistan. Excellent. You have no idea. Uh, over there, like is a kebab roll. Mm -hmm. So many places. So, so much non veg, huh? Mm. And you said to try this, right? Yeah, it's a Pakistani cream soda. Pakola. Cool. Pakistani cream soda. cream soda. Okay, nice. Oh yeah. I personally don't really drink sodas. I drink water. I drink obviously wine, beer, but so this is something I don't really drink, but I'll try it. So it's basically, mm, it's like rose water. Yes, yeah. Cream. Similar to rose, like creamy yeah. rose water. Oh, it's good. <laughs> so it's Pacola, soda a la creme. Cream, creamy soda. Creamy soda. Mm. So you gotta try this when you come here. This has to calm down. It's like <laughs> too hot. I'm gonna have a little more of this biryani because I love it so much. Nice chicken biryani, tomato sauce. Oh, I love the layers. Mmm. So super hot. I've got a nice piece like this. Mm hmm. Mmm. No, I love all the non veg biryani, the mutton biryani, chicken biryani. But one of my favorites ever was in Hyderabad with egg biryani. Mm hmm. Mmm. It's too hot. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna calm down. It's only 11.30 in the morning, I'm getting super full. And I still have to go with Takara right now. Literally they're waiting for me in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna calm down with the food, take all this to go. My friend Salma, the food's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna pack all this to go. Perfect. Take this too. Thank you so much. <laughs> so when you come here, try those samosas, the biryani, and Pani puri. We can do a challenge next time, you and me. How many can you eat? Huh? How many pani puris can you eat? Eat 50. 50! <laughs> Last time I did 36, 36, but I also ate food before, yeah, so yes. I probably could do 50. <laughs> I'll beat you next time. Thank you so much, okay, thank you thank so you. much. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you so much. And the reason why I'm going to three places back to back is because for lunch, uh, Indian restaurants are open roughly between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm driving to Tarka now. I'm gonna eat lunch there and after that I'm going to Arun's. We're gonna see the food being made and then I'm taking it home to eat it with my dad. <laughs> The best part about eating Indian food in one neighborhood is that each restaurant is really close to each other, right? So this is only a six minute drive from Salma to Tarka. Tarka, it's Tarka, Karahi and Kebabs. This restaurant I hear is amazing right here on Sampa Road. I just passed by tons of houses and now I'm on a strip, basically like lots of different strip malls here, right? Lots of, you know, retail. You have restaurants. You have barbershops, you got real estate offices. I mean, this is what the neighborhood's all about, right? Coral Springs. First time eating in Coral Springs, actually. You know, I live 45 minutes south. I never come up here unless I'm doing something like this. And yeah, guys, I'm excited. That food filled me up. But you guys know me, I can eat Indian food all day long. I'll take on three, 4,000 calories, no problem. And here we go, we're only a two minute drive away. So we just made a left into Coral Springs Plaza and the restaurant should be over here on the left. All right, right there it is, Tarka, perfect. Welcome to Tarka. What's up, man? Come on in. How you doing? <laughs> How, How you doing, bud? Oh man, I'm perfect. Uh, this place is amazing. Thank How you. you doing? Thank you. How's everything? Namaste, namaste. The house of authentic Pakistani cuisine in whole South Florida. And I bet you, you will love it. I love the interior of this place. So over there, we have a few different monuments that are part of Pakistan, right? In Karachi, Lahore. Over here we have the founder, the guy who wrote the, you know, the, the poem, dream. The, yes. dream the Dream of Pakistan. Yes. Over here we have the flag of Pakistan. You know, so it's the moon. This is our green. This is the Baiska Masjid. This is in Lahore. That is the Khyber Pass. That is the one where the Mongols tried to came through. 
the Russian strider came through and they got destroyed. Wow. And British. So that's very famous in Pakistan of where they could not cross that boundary. And where is that? This is toward Peshawar. Okay, so toward Peshawar. I'm gonna go there. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going. This will give you a little bit more light on how Pakistan, this is the first speech that he did with the prince in uh, Britain, Great Britain, to get the freedom of Pakistan. So this is right next to the bathroom, and this is the men's bathroom, spotless and clean. Enough of the bathroom, let's go <laughs> sit some food, I'm hungry. Yeah. So one of the other specialties that we created, we are famous for, if you see outside, is called karahi and kabao, right? So we're famous for bringing the authentic karahi that is made from scratch, from back home, served in the cast iron pot, right on your table. And you can see right here, so open kitchen concept. You can literally be hanging out right here, and you can see them cooking behind you. I love this. Love your restaurant, man. Love it. And this is like mutton karahi. So it's a curry gravy brownish sauce with mutton. So that's goat, right? This is, this is actually made from scratch every day on the front of customer when they order it. And this has a uh, fresh uh, goat, okay, meat. And we have our own slaughter place. So we cut it every day to bring the fresh, freshest of freshest meat. And then this is used about almost 15 different seasonings to make only this mutton dry. Pakistani Indian cuisine, always lots of spices. Sometimes 500. <laughs> that, that's too many, that's too oh, many. <laughs> this is called the tarka. Now he's finalizing the karate. Final seasoning, cumin, a little bit of uh, chili pepper, and then he's gonna throw real, real desi ghee, okay? That is made fresh. We have our own company actually called De Asli Ghee. And that's what he's gonna, he's gonna put in the end to finalize it and cook the chili. That's gonna be so good. Can't wait. You eat this with rice, right? You eat with bread, naan, and rice. Either one, your choice. We end up in a house somewhere. Eating meal there. <laughs> We have chicken tikka in the oven for you. And now Sanjay is going to put up a kebab, a sea kebab on the rod. I'll tell you, this is my favorite type of kebab. Oh kebab. yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the best. So, so it's this, like minced, you know? Exactly. This is made in a lot of countries, right? So yeah. India, Pakistan is a lot more similar spices. Wow. Than Persian, Arabic, they all use the sea kebab. It's the best. So this is amazing. I love it. And it's uh, chicken, right? Oh, this one is a chicken one. Yeah. the sesame seeds on the bread. This is called Tilawala Kulcha. When you go to Pakistan, you will hear that one a lot in the morning. That's in the Punjab area. In Punjab, yes. Yeah. It'll be now be the marking prints so all the seeds can go in. Phenomenal. Are you hungry yet? Oh man, I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. All right. <laughs> How many naans do you do a day? Oh, about 150 to 200 naans every day. On the weekend, about 400, 450. So we're having kulcha and we're having regular naan. And what happens is when they take it out, we're gonna cut it and then put some ghee. We have onion naan, we have a garlic yeah. naan, we have a garlic coriander. Garlic coriander. And we have regular naan, butter naan. And we have also a paratha. You're gonna try paratha someday. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Fluffy. Sesame seeds. Warm. Mmm. Smokiness. 
Oh, that's good. We gotta get some of that garlic. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay, Ismail, we have a Pakistani feast. What do we have? Oh my God, we're ready. I'm so hungry. Me too. I hope you are. I'm right? starving. I can't wait. We have chicken tikka. Okay. Uh, we have chicken seek kebab. We have beef seek kebab. We have butter chicken. We have mutton karahi, lahori. And we have a pushari chicken karahi. Oh my God. So how and, do we start? And to eat with it, we have our favorite naan. Naan? <laughs> Let's grab one of these. All right. Oh, beautiful. It's this is good, actually the it's kachor, always a good, right? This is the kulcha. The it's, kulcha, the yeah, kulcha. It's called the tilamala kulcha in Punjabi. Okay. In sesame seed naan. Perfect. I'm ready, man. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> what do you want to do first? Let's, um, let's try our chicken tikka first. Chicken tikka first? Yep. So just right here, look at this. <gasps> look at that. Thank you. Huge. Start with, you just break it apart. Oh my God. And you eat it. <laughs> just like that? <laughs> just like that. Oh. There you go. Like the juices. <laughs> Oh, it's still super hot. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. The flavor. This is the this, seasoning. This is bomb. <laughs> mm. It marinates for about 24 to 48 hours. Oh, that's why, okay. Before it, so, going, it can go on the grill. So it's basically like absorbed all that marination. Mm. Mm. I love the smokiness. Mm. Mm. This just falls is, apart. This is usually served as an appetizer. Okay. I mean, could have fooled me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, the flesh. Mmm. Nice and like ghee, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's not much ghee into this one, but because it's made in tandoor and on the grill, mm -hmm. I, I hold this essence of seasoning. Mm -hmm. You can see it's cooked all the way in. Exactly. And so soft. Nice and oily. Mm. Mm. This is actually very different from any chicken I've had. This is the reason I gained about 100 pounds. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> mm. Oh, man, the taste. Super nice seasoning, not spicy. Mm. Perfect appetizer. Oh, my God. And try with this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. To be honest, I wish mm. I, I was empty, Again. but... <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is the Imli chutney. Okay. Okay, it's made with tamarind. It's called and Imli. Imli. Okay, so okay, tamarind chutney. Is, yeah, tamarind chutney. Basically sweet chutney. Sweet chutney, here you go. For me, to be honest, my favorites are that one and the coconut. Coconut one? Coconut, yeah, coconut chutney. Coconut chutney. Oh, is very good. too good. Yeah. And uh, this is the green chutney. Okay. So it's mint. Mint. There you go. You, you know it more better than Dude, me. <laughs> I, I know everything about Indian cuisine. I'm going to know everything about Pakistani cuisine <laughs> very soon. I'm just going to gain a lot of weight. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you excited about your trip? Oh, God. You have no idea. Yeah. I've been dreaming about Pakistan since I landed in India. You know, learning about yeah. it. They're like, oh, you're going to love it. The culture. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. Oh, man. So sweet. Next up, we're jumping on the Sikh kebabs. Sikh kebabs, here we go. We have our chicken okay. and our beef Sikh kebab. Oh man. I Look hope you that. enjoy. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. My favorite place oh. ever I had Sikh kebabs was in Mumbai. Forget Mumbai. the name okay. right now, but it's near the Taj, near the gate. And this is just grab and break, right? And you break it and you eat it. Just like that. And you just dip. This is real good. Mm. I mm. think they put an extra love in for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, minced meat, a little smoky. Mm. Spices, but yeah. light, right? A little bit on the lighter side. Mm -hmm. mm. That because you do want to get the taste of the meat, mm -hmm. as well with the gravies and the, uh, and the sauces you use. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't want the seasoning to be taken too much over control of it. Okay. Mm. Chicken one, fantastic. So what I do is I usually try to mix, you know, sweet and spicy. This one's not too spicy, but it's a nice blend, right? Mm. 
Me with the kebab, I like it with the naan. With the naan, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. So just get a piece like this, use one hand. We do it the Indian, Pakistani way, right? There, there you go. Here. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, the flavor. Oh, do it. Like my mouth, it's getting wa like watery. Just even thinking about the next bite, you know. It's like once you start, you can't stop. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I love chutneys. Oh, look at this. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm. You know the hardest thing about eating any food for 24 hours is having space <laughs> for the next bite. <laughs> We still have three more dishes. Mm. This is mm. just the beginning. That's what I was going to tell you. <laughs> I know. Mm. Wow. I love this bread. Mm. Good story. Sesame seeds. So it's a little different, right? It's more of a, a fluffy, thicker bread. Correct. Over it being like a super thin naan. Yeah. I guess uh, you wouldn't compare it to a barata either, right? No. So our naan's a similar way. It's just doesn't have the uh, sesame seeds on it. Okay. So we don't use really, really thin ones because the authentic ones are a little bit fluffier and mm -hmm. soft from the top and has a little hard shell on the bottom from the tandoori salt. Okay. Just like the pizza, you know, has a little crispy layer on the bottom. Exactly. And has that fluffiness on the top, but you can able to break it apart and eat it. And so you get a little crunchy and as well that fluffy taste of that bread. A little airy. All the way. Yes. Yeah, that's the best. And if you notice, like, it's all the way cooked, right? Yeah. Whole so, thing. so the best fine. thing to do is add something with like a gravy or curry. So that's exactly. why we have the butter chicken. So right? you can have that 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 scoop, right? <laughs> to fill it up. Well, let's not talk about the scoop. Let's no. do the scoop. Here we go. Here we go. No, now we're talking. Wow, oh. this is butter chicken, man. Oh. The oh, number one, one. My favorite. Yeah, this is the number one dish in any you know Pakistani Indian restaurant, right? Usually is. Mm. Like my daughter says, you know, the buttery chicken, the buttery chicken. The buttery want, chicken, yeah, yeah. Baba, I want the want. buttery chicken. No, my wife, my <laughs> wife, this is her combo. Oh, yeah? Butter chicken and naan. Oh. That's it. Let's do a big bite, you and me. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. The taste here is so different. Different, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm. this is authentic, not tomato base. Mm. This is... Mm. So for years in, wow. in America, what I noticed was the one of the reasons that drive me to open this restaurant was because the taste was fading away. Okay. It was going away from, you know, the authenticity of its own. And I wanted to bring that taste back again, you know, like mm -hmm. that when I have so many people here, trust me, if you come in the evening on the weekend and you tell them and everybody, they say like, oh, this reminds me of that place exactly. back home, you know, like Bunce Road you were talking about. Yeah. So this remind me of this place, right? And back home. Wow. So so it has to and teleport you somewhere else, right? That's exactly. Really that's what that's that's what it is. It should take you back mm -hmm. to that hole in the wall that you ate something there, you know, mm -hmm. and you felt that uh, that love by it. For me, the only thing I'm missing right now is the honking. Hmm? The honking. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm missing right now. If if I had that, I'd be in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Devour that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I was gonna tell you. Try one thing that I, when I was a kid I used to do that. I used to take kebab with this butter gravy. Mm. This gravy. I'm telling you, try with a little bit of a kebab. Oh, it is amazing. Like with mints, oh. mm. When I was a kid, this was my favorite thing to do. Oh, it's my favorite thing to do right <laughs> now. <huh? laughs> mm. Tell me. <laughs> Wow, the flavors, textures, mm, the mintiness. Mintiness, mm. there you go. That minced meat with this uh, gravy, the thick uh, buttery gravy. It's too much. It, it just brings out another another you. <laughs> the problem with the butter chicken is that you don't want to stop. Uh, it, yep, yep, I agree. And you said like your daughter is her favorite, right? Yeah, buttery chicken, baba buttery chicken. I feel like <laughs> for anybody who, you know, if you haven't eaten this type of cuisine before, this is the the entry level dish. Mm. You know, it gives you a, a true sense of like Indian cuisine from the gravy curry, you know, buttery, not spicy. And then you have the chicken, you know, if, obviously if you want to go pure veg, you do one that's like, I don't know, paneer or something, right? Yep. Mm. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'll go Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. We still have two more dishes, right? At, at least should, two. Should we run around the block yeah, and come I, back I again? Say, I, need, I need a mini break. <laughs> the hardest part for me is I'm doing three restaurants. <laughs> In between the break, we have. In between the break, we have lassi, mango lassi. Mango lassi. I love this one. It's not too thick. Yep. It's just right. And that's mm. how it's supposed to be. Because sometimes, like an hammer star, they make it so thick and fluffy. You know, it's like extremely <sighs> fatty. Exactly. Mm. So, this is the yogurt we make it in house. We make our own yogurt. Oh, wow. Because we were finding the consistency wasn't that good, and okay. sometimes you have a little soury yogurt from outside, you know. So we take our own milk, make it in house. In house, perfect. And if you guys don't know about lassi, this is the drink that you have in India, Pakistan, when it's really hot after a meal, in between, you know, palate cleanser in a way. Yeah, right? cool, cool you down a little bit, a exactly. little bit of a sweetness, that mango taste, fresh you oh, back up. I love so it. you're ready for your main courses. Mm. <laughs> For my favorite is the mango, but I've had it with saffron. I've had a few different ones. This is the best though. Mm. And here in South Florida, every Indian restaurant, Pakistani restaurant you go to, always mango, right? 100% mango restaurant. Mango. So this was chicken. Now we're gonna do our mutton lahari karahi. I mean, the chicken looks good, but the, the mutton looks phenomenal. Whoa, look at this. This is the real stuff, my friend. This is the real stuff. You're gonna try it, and when you go back home, you're gonna try it again, and then you're gonna tell me how close I was, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taste-wise. <laughs> okay. So, let's start with the chicken, right? So we're gonna take a piece this. of bread. Chori. We gotta open it up, mm -hmm. and let's do the chicken. Perfect. A little gravy. Oh, look at that flesh. So you gotta break it up. Always use your hands. Just like that. Cheers. Cheers. Well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. So fresh, nice and oily. You got light on the on the gravy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The karais are usually light on gravy because mm -hmm. it doesn't make with any onions or yeah. anything. The whole gravy is made on tomato base. Wow. And the seasonings. Mm. To be honest, you know, I didn't think that Pakistani cuisine was so different from Indian cuisine. Yeah. yeah. It's similar, but yes. it, the taste is different. It is. It is. Very different. The chicken, and if you take the taste of mutton, the seasoning is completely different. Okay. The gravy and all that stuff. So, like like in India, every 50 kilometers, language changes, people change, food uh, changes. Not really. Uh, Pakistan has more four different um, uh, states. Okay. And main are four different languages. Okay, so four. Yeah. Great. But they have different dialogue, but mostly Sindhi, Balochi, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. Pashto and Punjabi. So Sindhi is the where Karachi is, right? Yes, Sindhi. Sindh. Sindh. And that was the mutton? Oh. Don't tell me that, man. Oh, oh I know. My I know. wife don't know how to make this. <laughs> I will not marry her. Oh, no? <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. You know my favorite thing to eat is? Mutton. Mutton? I, I'm, I'm a big lamb and goat guy. Me too. It's just like that, look at this. So this we use like a lot of goat, not lamb, because mm -hmm. lamb has a little bit of a after smell mm -hmm. and a taste, a little bit heavier. Mm. So I don't know what piece I just got, but it was crunchy, gelatin-like, mm. it's a little fatty. Whoa, oh this man. is unique, huh? So there is chilies in here, it's a little spicy. Look at this. Mm. Mm. I don't even know how to describe this, man. It's different. <laughs> Me too. It's a, uh, it's, so I haven't had this type of, um, I guess the way they do it, right? So we just continue, huh? Oh, I'm gonna try this chili now. The chili? Oh. The chili's the best. It's got a, looks like a fire is about to go into my flame. A fire? Fire, fire is about to go in my mouth, <laughs> yeah. this chili. I'm kind of scared, but. It looks spicy. Hey, adventurous. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm Oh. Mm. I love the gravy. You have your tomatoes, onions, chili, red chili. You have your turmeric powder. You have your um, cumin. Okay. Oh my god. The ginger too. Ginger, garlic, mm. garlic ginger. paste, ginger. Whoa! Look at this. In, only in South Florida, okay? Only in South Florida. Where David? 
That's how we do it. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's too good. You don't need to go to Pakistan. You're gonna cancel your trip. No. You got everything. Canceled. I need to go to Pakistan. Mmm. <laughs> You know, it's funny because that was five big plates, huh? I'm like super full. And this thing? The only thing is, you know, in Pakistani cuisine, you're not supposed to ever leave your plate full. Yeah. You gotta finish it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard times, hard times. I think we gotta take a nap. <laughs> I need a break. You know, it says when your food is so good, your eyes start closing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get high off your food. <laughs> so this is cooked almost for, I would say, about seven, six to seven hours before it becomes like this. So This is like a rice pudding. It's called kheer. Kheer. K-H-E-E-R. Delicious. Oh, you're about to find out. And here we go. When you eat this, unbutton your pants. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or don't wear them at all. <laughs> don't wear them at all, right? <laughs> Underwear dessert, right? <laughs> mm. Mm. Tell me. Okay. So my tongue wasn't lying. Wow. Mm. It reminds me of a um, like one of these Malai, like creamy, you know, whipped cream type of things that yep. uh, I had in like luck now. Is that no. something similar? Yeah. Yeah, like some of so this is rice pudding, right? Rice pudding. So, but this is cooked like um, mm. almost like eight, nine hours. Okay. To get to this level mm -hmm. of perfection. This is unreal. Mm. So you don't have like super thick, dense pieces of rice. It's actually broken down, creamy, and then you have the nuts. Nuts on top of it. Mm. 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 Gotta love the sweets in Pakistan, right? Oh, 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 oh. I know. Yeah. Like, ready. Take some insulin shots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best, man. Come to his restaurant, Tarka, here in Coral Springs. But 7891 West Sample Road. Coral Spring, you can't miss this big red sign called Tarka. Mm. Only in South Florida, you're gonna find the authentic Pakistani cuisine. And trust me, you will love it. Wow. I'm like, I can't go to another restaurant now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called pan. Okay. Pan. This has coconut. This is, after you're eating, it's just for to refresh your mouth. Yeah. You know, a little bit something to chew on and drink tea and relax. Chai all day. And pan, you know, first time I had this, I was in Varanasi. Varanasi, here and you go. this gives you energy. Uh -huh. This is like, I mean, this is, <laughs> it's electric, right? Yes, it really it is. is. Play mine out. And again, guys, this oh. one, Ooh. sort of broke here. Yeah, it's okay. Just take it in. Ready? Yeah. There you go. And I'll put it on the side mm -hmm. and keep chewing it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, everything. No, so the juice just comes into your mouth. Mmm. Coconut. And refresh it. Coconut, yep. Mmm. It's crazy how it really gives you energy, huh? Mm -hmm. like, almost like a beer or not. <laughs> Once you're done chewing a little bit, here you spit it out. Some people like eating it. Mm hmm and Then you can drink your tea. You won't have any taste left from your food. Love chai. The chai from India, Pakistan, always like this, right? Mm -hmm. Always with milk. I'm a big chai guy. The second I landed in India, the airport, you have chai. Straight. <laughs> chai wala chai. Oh, that's good. Hey, now we're officially friends. We're officially friends, friends now. We shared a cup of chai together. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. It was our pleasure mm. having you here. Oh, I love this. And Thank you I so much. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, the food and was outstanding, and now I have a, like a taste of real Pakistani hospitality. <laughs> First, the salmon, now with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You know, God Great. bless you and stay safe. Enjoy your trip in Pakistan. Thank you. And I would like to you to come and revisit with your family and friends. I will, for All sure. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, Pakistan, Zindabad. Pakistan, Zindabad. That's it, Zindabad. Zindabad, that's one Zindabad. of the things you gotta learn. Okay, <laughs> Zindabad. <laughs> Long live Pakistan. <laughs> okay, awesome. Hey, thank you so thank much, you. thank you. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh so much, so much. Perfect. Bye-bye, thank Take you. Take care, thank, thank you so much. All right, that's it, Tarka. 
Amazing, thank you again. And they also have a Desi grocery store next door. Look, so if you want some Indian Pakistani, you know, flavor spices, right there. Now we're going to Arun's. One more spot. All right, my friends. Third restaurant. Luckily, I don't have to eat right now. Woo, let's go to Arun's. Oh, I'm like in a food coma. And Arun's only a five minute drive away. Literally flat five minute drive. Make it right here on Sampler, Sample Road. And then you go all the way down and it's on the same road, great. Well, that was quick. This is Arun's Indian Kitchen. They have two locations, one here in Coral Springs, the other one in Sunrise. And this one is only takeout right now, obviously COVID times. They're only doing takeout. So we're gonna make some food and we're gonna take it home to my dad. Here you go. What's up, man? So man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey. I'm looking for Arun, Yash. Right Alright, let's go inside. Let's meet Arun and Yash. Hello, hello. Hello. Big boss. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Good, good, thank you. You look great, man. <laughs> Love it. What are we making today? Whatever your heart wants. Whatever my heart wants, man. <laughs> thank it's, you so much. Thank it's, you. A, it's another That's delicious day. Okay, fantastic. You can start. This is tomato. We got a lot of cream and grilled chicken. We already marinated it, but now it's gonna go. How spicy can you handle? Look how I'm gonna Not a tomato sauce. Now here we go. Flavor flame, right? Green cheese with some tomatoes that the restaurant is getting ready. More or less everything is almost in. It's just a proportion here and there. Let's put some other thing in it. Let's do that A little bit of cream. Different name for the same dish. Kerala. And some coconut powder. Don't be shy, just keep putting things in, man. You wanna make it tasty? That's how you make it tasty. On the pan, I have to get all in my mouth, right? Sauce is everything. <laughs> sauce is everything. Whatever you put in that sauce, it just becomes that. Chicken madras, you know, lamb madras, even vegetable madras. Sauce is base. Yeah. Sauce is the base. Without the sauce, no. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So the way they make biryani in restaurants like this is that they put it on top like dumb biryani, right? I don't 
like it, your money is returned. Got so much food, I need help. Hey. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Arun. My brother. So much. Oh, right here, right here. There's a lot of space. Yeah, it won't move. Arun. Sir. You're the man. Namaste. 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 <laughs> I'll see you next week. Yes, sir. Anytime you're ready. Thank you. All Thank right. you. There you go. So that was Arun's kitchen. Yes, that is. Here in Coral Springs. Thank you. Take care. Again, Coral Springs is located north west of Fort Lauderdale, roughly one hour north from South Miami where I live. So right now it's 3 p.m. It's gonna take me a little over an hour to get home. Luckily I have some time to digest. Oh, I am super full, but I can't wait to eat that delicious butter chicken, some naan, some egg, plant, uh, egg, plant, brinjal, the best, and some lamb. Phenomenal. I can't wait. North Indian food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And just like that, I'm here with my father, and we're gonna eat Arun's food. We got some delicious stuff that we have. Some lamb madras, some butter chicken, got some rice, chana masala, kalab jamun, and some naan. I love all this. Oh, I forgot I the it. eggplant. I love it. You Egg want plant. some? Yeah, I want everything. What do you want first? I don't know. I'm Here. hungry. I'm super hungry. Here's a piece. Get I'm always hungry for Indian food. I know, I know. We become addicts. Look huh? at it. Addicts. Addicts is an understatement. Look at this. This Woo. is crazy. This naan. Ooh, still super hot. An hour later, it's super hot. So what do you want yeah. first? I don't know. Butter, butter chicken, chicken lamb, lamb. All right. Let's go with the. Um, let's just serve a little bit of everything. Yeah, There's only right. four things let's here, right? Let's what are you serving? Eggplant. Marvelous eggplant. This is like amazing. I always love this. The butter chicken is my father's favorite. He loves butter chicken. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love butter chicken, right? Is this chickpeas? Yeah, this is chickpeas. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. This is a lamb, right? Mm -hmm. Lamb. The lamb. Eggplant. Lamb. Chicken, chickpeas, rice, and the naan. How do we do it? This feast is like crazy, David. You always bring me these amazing dishes. I have dishes. to. I have to share with you. Okay, so what do we start? The lamb, of course. We have to lamb. Start. Okay. Lamb, lamb. Right there. Lamb, like this, right? Mm -hmm. This is the way you eat it. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Super light gravy. Not crazy spicy. Creamy. Super creamy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So good. You know, today I ate at a few Pakistani restaurants. A little different. Obviously, the biggest difference is that it's more non-veg focused. Even though Tarka, they also have like a pure veg menu for Indian clients, mm -hmm. but the food is so good. I mean this. Mm-hmm. Eggplant, right? Oh, the eggplant. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Why is it so good? Always so good. Always. Sauce. It's right? impossible not to eat good. The bread. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tandoori. But this tandoori is special. It's a little bit like thicker. It's like like a sponge, you know? What, this bread? Yeah, this one's yeah. Uh, a little more Almost like a parota, right? A little more layers. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know how the Indian people can be skinny in general because I would never be able to be skinny in India. I mean, forget it. Impossible. Too much, too much ghee. Too much clarified butter. Mm. Mm. Wow. The butter chicken? So we're at the butter Another chicken level. stage. Another level. Whoa. Mm. As you can tell, I'm more civilized than David eating, but this is this is civilized in India. I'm really enjoying doing this. Look at this, this series. It stuck to me. Oh, I, oh, I love it. it. Always gets dirty. Okay. Mm. 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 It's okay. And just turn my size a little different, right? It's not the way I always see it. Usually, it's a lot thicker the gravy. This one's lighter, just more big trick piece, right? A room. Mm. There's only four plates of 72 on his menu. Oh my so God. It's a huge menu. Wow, I am. How do you even learn how to cook all this? I, uh, I don't know that. You have to go to 
you know what? I think I know the secret. Go to somebody's house in India mm -hmm. or in Pakistan and just absorb what they're doing, you know? Mm. This video is going to be famous. You know why? The Cause, shirt. Because the shirt got dirty? <laughs> oh man, it's like a mukbang here. Mm hmm. Mm. All this great creaminess. Wow. I know the creaminess. That's the best mm. part about Indian cuisine is all the different sauces, right? And just using your hands, grabbing them on. You know mm. what it does? The spices, they make you feel alive. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best description you can have. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Definitely makes you feel full, right? Well, I feel alive. I mean, it just woke me up. I was like, kind of, you know, we're having kind of a dull day today. It's raining and it's not so beautiful, but the food just made me, you know. Make you alive? Yeah, he was mm -hmm. falling asleep. He was like, if you didn't get here, I was gonna pass out, but yeah, it's a little muggy today. I was gonna get a siesta. A winter siesta, <laughs> even though it's not cold here today. Well, this is my third time eating Indian food for 24 hours. I gotta oh say, oh my god, it was it was actually a surprise because I didn't know the first two places were more Pakistani, um, you know, Pakistani owners. But again, the, the food is very very similar. Obviously, they're more non-veg focused. They have beef. They have a lot of mutton, a lot of chicken, right? A little different. It's like a heartier cuisine, mm -hmm. but again, very similar. You know, they have the breads, they have the biryanis. So in terms of like the food, everything today was delicious. Start off with like pani puri, asalmas, had some beef samosas that were, were like unreal. Then I went to Tarka and Tarkas, I mean, we just ate nonstop stuff. I love how their setup is, traditional, you know, Pakistani restaurant. This is the only one in the area, real Pakistani cuisine. They have like an open kitchen, so you could see them cooking right there. And the food was outstanding. I mean, so many different dishes. And then I went to Arun's, saw him cook up all this food, and you enjoyed it, right? I loved it. I had to keep it light, because I am super full. Uh, man, it's only like 4.30 in the afternoon. I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a five hours. Can you leave span. me some for dinner? I'm leaving you all that, that's all no. yours. You can keep it all. <laughs> I think your wife wants to try this. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, eating Indian food for 24 hours here in Coral Springs, Florida. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. What's happening? So that's it guys, I ate Indian food for 24 hours here in Coral Springs, Florida. If you love the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure. Miami, India, Pakistan, where's to next? Uh -huh. uh... <laughs>